Welcome to Iron Speed Designer Video Training. Today we're going to talk about how to conditionally display a field. We'll start by start with starting Iron Speed Designer. Then we'll open the application which we already have created in Iron Speed Designer for this video. And you're familiar with the Iron Speed Designer Layout Editor, where we have the Application Explorer on the left, the uh, Grid Editor in the center, the Properties and Toolbox Panels on the right. We'll use a Southwind application that's already been prepared. And in the Southwind application, we'll look at the Show Orders table. The Show Orders table page has uh, the orders and we'll add a field that will show the uh, total order totals for some of the orders. Let's start with the toolbox and a sum. The sum of the order details and a sum of the order details amount. We'll add that to our record and we'll make it for each order ID that we're looking at. Once we have that field, we'll get the property sheet and initialize the display text of the field and here we're going to get the order amount for every order but we want to make it conditional so let's just highlight our result add a logical function and the logical function we want is not just based on the lookup ID that's what we want to show. So let's add a conditional expression which is going to be based on the field value from the database record. We're going to have the order date is equal to 2011. Now we can't just use the order date, we have to, which is a date field, we actually have to extract the date from it. So let's get our functions for date and time and get the year. So the year of the order date will be equal to 2011. Then we'll look up the to totals for the order amounts for this order. So now we see that every order that's in 2011 has a total associated with it. So I'd like the total to stand out a little more. So all I have to do is open the layout editor for that and look at the HTML editor. And let's just change this color. something bright and now when we preview the screen we'll see the results we want and we have the order totals for every order in the year 2011 and that completes the video for today on how to conditionally display a field thank you very much be sure to see the many orders available on the video pages of our website.